last year when we did Sun and Moon, I had the guy. Chase Alcila! Oh my god! Chase Alcila! Oh my god! I didn't- Wow! I didn't think I was going to notice it right away. Oh my god! I was completely scared that I was going to suffer it over it, but I found the shiny Celestila. Holy- My- my Pokemon Ultra Sun, um, Moon game was on freaking fire! Holy crap! Let me just tell some people. I think people might be asleep, so I don't know if they're gonna be up or not. So let me just quickly tell some people. So this came after um, 1,539 um, software sets. Um, another quick hunt on this file, which is surprising. And I am surprised. Holy crap. So um, before I do anything else, let me just quickly take off the, the rubber bands. As per usual. As per usual. And I bought more beast balls this time, so um, I came, I come better prepared. So I have like 51 beast balls or something like that. So I am more prepared to catch this. And I done very few test captures, like two at least. And it caught right away on the first ball or so. And if it doesn't catch, I mean, it, it will catch eventually. Eh, okay. Destroy my decoy. I don't care. Destroy it. Destroy it, my beautiful tree. <laughs> so, I'm really excited. Um, I wasn't gonna think that I would get it right away. I was hoping it would take a little longer, but apparently this game likes to have longer hunts. Or shorter hunts. Like my longest hunt on this game so far is like 3,000 or something. And so far it's been good to me. Um, knock on wood. Knock on wood. Hopefully the streak continues. Come on. Hey, there we go. It caught on the, um, on the fourth beast ball. I think it's the fourth one. I'm not sure. But, oh my god. I'm so, I'm like in shock right now. Thank the god. Thank the lordy. Shiny Celestila. So there is the shiny ducks. Wow, that looks really good. Um, so I found a nickname for it. Um, it's based on, um, a... It's based on a prince, some kind of princess or something like that. Um, I got it from Bulbapedia, right? And what I read from Wikipedia, it says that um, Silicila is likely based on Princess Cayuga from the tail of the bamboo cutter. It resembles bamboo shoots. Its arms resemble cut bamboo trunks. And overall, it resembles a mixture of elements of a space shuttle and a deception of Princess Cayuga as a woman with long hair women wearing a multi-layered kimono. And um, I was looking for names, and I thought that, you know, Princess... Um, Kai, Kai, Kaguya. Yeah, I'm gonna print. I'm gonna butcher that so bad. So I'm just gonna name her Kaiguga. Or yeah, I wanna name her Kaiguga. She's like a 
nice Japanese princess. Let me see if I spell it right. Yes, I did. Cayuga da Celestila. Um, well, I, I'm going to add it to my party because I'm not sure when I'll be able to get out of here. Um, I'll send my wall, my wall, my wall while back to the box. Yes. Oh, wow. I like Celestino's world. I like the worlds that the Ultra Beasts inhabit. They're really cool. They have more personality to them. I like them. I like... I like Fermosa's a bit more though. Celestia's is pretty cool. I like it when it blasts off in the background. It's I pictured myself saying it's bla we're blasting off again. <laughs> Cause I thought it was pretty funny and cute how um it blasted off in the background when you first enter. So we're gonna head back to our world. And then I'll do nature guesses and all that all that fun stuff. I just want to fly to the nearest um, place where you can, um, oh shoot, this is the wrong thing, where you can encounter it in grass so I can just do it now and not worry about it later. So, um, I think we'll head to Pawnee, Pawnee Beach. People are mad at me that, um, People are mad at me that I'm getting quick hunts. Like, <laughs> guys, I might as well get quick hunts now before I start really drought, to be honest here. So don't mind me. I might as well. So I'm going to do nature guesses very quickly. So we have my Mimikyu, uh, my Shenotic, my Rabambi, Primarina, uh, the Silsilas right there. And then we have my, my Alolan Ninetales there. Um, I was <laughs> okay, so I guess naive, um, shiny prominence because it's adamant, red hawk 36 because it's quirky. And that's all the nature guesses I have. And it is mild. It's the same nature as my Celestila. I mean, my Faramosa. It's the same nature. So, mild it is. I caught it. I don't have a mild synchronizer or anything. It's just completely up to random. It's just luck at this point. It's just luck. So, I, have, I have deeply apologize. So, I'm going to put her to the front. Let me save the game once more because I feel like I didn't save. I felt like I didn't save. Okay, so we'll just do a couple encounters. And it's daytime in my game. Hence, I have Ultra Moon since it's daytime in this game. So, normal for fro. And shiny little Stila. Wow. <laughs> it looks so good. I never knew. I was, I was legit about to software set over this thing. I was not kidding you. I kid you not, I wasn't sure if I was going to see it right away, so I had my finger over the start button, and I was going to like, boom, soft reset. Goodbye, little Stila. Like, I'll have to reclaim you. <laughs> but I, 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 it was very noticeable. I'm surprised. Like, I'm baffled at myself. It's very noticeable. Okay. We'll just do one more encounter. So, normal Inke. And shiny sail Stila. So yeah, everyone, thank you all so much for watching, and good luck with all your hunts. Bye!